Hey everyone, hope you're good. I'm Timo and we're back on CSGO for the third video in our £10 to a knife trade-up attempts. Today we're going to be utilising the Fracture Collection to hopefully get some profits and carry on to the right way here. Please drop a like and subscribe down below. If you have any questions or just want to chat about skins and trade-ups, I stream every Wednesday and Saturday over on Twitch. There's a link down below in the description. The last video went pretty well and we managed to make a profit, so we start this one with a budget of £15.21, pence, which is 16.73 in euros or 19.84 in dollars. All the trade-ups are worked out using Trade-Up Spy, it's a brilliant trade-up tool, you can check them out using my link in the description or use code TIMO on the site for two free days of premium for every month that you buy. Now to our first cheap and profitable trade-up today, and we're mixing Prisma 2 with Fracture from Milspec to Restricted. For this, we've got three factory new Prisma 2 skins, which are two of the CZ Distress and one of the MP5 Desert Strikes, and then we've got seven skins from the Fracture Collection. These are all in minimal wear, and these will fill out the rest of it to get as an average flow of below 0.07, and that's to get all of the outcomes in factory new. This costs £1.77, so it's €1.95 or $2.30. You can make this a little bit cheaper if you can find good floats using the cheaper skins from Prisma 2, but I couldn't find them with like the R8 Revolver Boneforged for example, so I had to buy the slightly more expensive factory news for the floats. So you can actually make this cheaper and obviously better overall profitable if you can find R8 Revolver Boneforged in factory new with the good floats for example. For this version we get a 17% return and then an 82% chance to profit. That's going to be on the SG Darkwing and the Scout Fever Dream from Prisma 2, and then all of the Fracture skins. Some of the profits are very small, but it's profit nonetheless. The only losses are the Sword Off, the P2000, and the Scar 20 from Prisma 2, but they're only small losses, with the worst outcome being the Scar 20 at the time of recording, and it still only loses a small fraction of the cost of the trade up. So, with favourable odds and a good chance to profit, what are we going to end up with from this first one? And we get the Mag 7 Monster Call from Fracture, so that's really cool. I think that's the second, is that actually the best outcome I think we could have got from the trade-up? Um, so that's really awesome. I think that nets us about £1.20, I think £1.26, I think it might have been for the Monster Call. So yeah, that is a really good hit for the trade-up. It's the best one of the Fracture skins that you can get. And it's more expensive, obviously, than the Darkwing or the Fever Dream from Prisma. So yeah, that is the absolute best thing that we could have got from the trade-up. Getting a little bit confused with the trade-ups that we got coming further down the line. But but yeah, really nice hit for that. Nice start. And yeah, that, like I said, lands as about £1.26 profit after the Steam tax. So yeah, really cool skin and a very nice start for the first trade-up. And next, we've got two of the exact same trade-up to do pretty much. These follow the structure of the previous trade-up. It's Millspec to Restricted, but this time mixing the Chroma Collection with the Fracture Collection. For this, we're using three factory new Chroma skins, which are three of these XM Quicksilvers. And then again, like last time, we've got seven minimal wear skins. These are all from the Fracture collection. So load all those in, I'll get you guys a picture. Your average float needs to be below 0.07 for all factory new outcomes from the trade-up. And it's going to cost you about £1.73, so one ninety-one in euros or two twenty-five in dollars. We get a near 24% return, and we've got nearly 81% chance to profit. That's on all of the Fracture outcomes, and then the best money is the Desert Eagle Naga from Chroma. Like the last one, we get pretty nice odds at over 80%. If you have any trade-ups you want to share, or you want to show off your trade-up wins, then come by our Discord, there's a link below in the description for that. But now, let's see if we can get a win out of this second trade-up. And we do, we get the Desert Eagle Naga, that's awesome. So that's the best thing that you can get from that trade up as well. So we hit the monster call in the first one and this is what I was getting confused with when we hit the monster call last time thinking the monster call is the second best thing you can get because it is in this trade up because that is the absolute best outcome. So that's really cool and yeah I think that nets us about £4.30 so yeah very nice hit for the second trade up there and yeah hopefully we can repeat this when we do the same again in the next one. Alright so the third one as I said is literally the same trade up as before. This is the Millspec to Restricted Chroma and Fracture mix and we've got three factory new chroma skins for this again, this time with one Scar 20 Grotto, oops, and then two of the XM Quicksilvers, and then as before again, seven minimal wear fracture skins, so we'll get all of these loaded up and show you guys a picture for it again. 
So you need the average float below 0 0.07, and again it's going to cost about 173, so 191 in euros or 225 in dollars. You've got over 80% chance to profit, so hopefully this works for that almost 24% return again. The Deagle is what we want, obviously, from the trader, the same as we hit last time, but any Fracture Skin is also fine, it'd just be great to avoid the Urban Shocks, the Serenity Sword Off, and the Malachite MAC-10, although they still don't lose too much compared to the cost of the actual trade-up. You can also find my Twitter, website, and all the other ways to support the channel down below. I really appreciate it, guys. And as for this trade-up, let's see what we get. 80% chance to finish this well. Come on. Nice, we get Mac 10 Allure from that, so that's the second best hit from the Fracture collection, I think. So yeah, the third best thing we could have got from the trade-up, but that does give, give us a profit of about 70 pence, I think, for the trade-up overall. So yeah, a nice hit there, and it's a really cool Mac 10, the Allure. So yeah, really happy to have gotten that, and we've done pretty well, I think, out of today's video. All three of the trade-ups have all been a success, and we managed to get the best outcome for two of them, and then the third best outcome for this final one. So yeah, pretty nice. Nice. definitely going to be in profit for the video so I'll just go and work that out for you guys and then show you what we've got for the totals to end it off so today we spent five pounds and 23 of the budget so that's 576 euros or 681 in dollars the prices of the items that we got back total 10 pounds and 59 pence so 1167 in euros or 1379 in dollars this means a profit today after steam tax of three pounds and 97 pence so 438 in euros or 517 in dollars so it's been a good one for the budget we hit three of the three trade ups got them all and we also got the best outcome on two of them with the monster call on the first one and then the desert eagle naga on the second and then getting the mac 10 allure was the third best outcome with the third trade up so very happy with that overall and that now gives us 19 pounds 18 which is 21 14 euros or 24 98 dollars going forward with the series so we have almost doubled our original investment in three videos with just cheap and profitable trade-ups. So hopefully we can keep this run going. Thank you all so much for watching. Be great to catch you on a stream or if you have any ideas that we can try to use for trade-ups for the knife, please let me know in the comments down below. Cheers guys, take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.